Hey everybody, welcome back. It is time once again for Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Let's go see Steve Hayes and see what he has for us. Johnny! <laughs> Tired Old Queen at the Movies. I haven't really done a romantic tearjerker. And so I thought I would do 1949's The Heiress, starring Olivia de Havilland in her second Oscar winning role, Ralph Richardson and Montgomery Clift, directed by William Wyler. This was taken from a novel called Washington Square by Henry James, and it had been made into a Broadway show which starred Wendy Hiller and Basil Rathbone. And when they decided to make it into a film, Willie Wyler cast Olivia de Havilland right off her first Academy Award winning performance in 1946 in Two Weeches His Own, and Montgomery Clift right after he'd been in Red River. Monty Clift was so beautiful in this movie. And Olivia de Havilland is so naturally beautiful they had to really play down her looks. This takes place at, in Washington Square in New York City and she is the only child of a domineering doctor played by Ralph Richardson. She's very homely. She's very, very shy. And this man takes a notice of her at a party and starts to actively court her. But I was afraid you might not come back at all. I would have to come back sometime. I live here. I know you do, Miss Sloper. That is why I'm here. Her father thinks that he's only interested in her money. Miss Sloper has a great appreciation for music. That is a talent in itself. Huh? She loves her father, adores her father, but she loves this man too, and she has to make a decision. Her aunt, who's staying with them, is played by Miriam Hopkins, and her aunt is all caught up with the romance of the thing, and, oh, you must go with him. He's a wonderful man. Never mind your father. He'll get over it. I will leave you alone with him. What will I talk about? You will not have to do the talking. My dear child, he has come a ghost. Of courting me. Well, certainly not me, miss. Now, you must be very gracious to him. Oh, Mr. Townsend, you must excuse me. The way the morals were at the time, it was a very, very big thing to go against your parents and go and do something like this. And she has to make that kind of a decision. You'll know him to be a scoundrel. I love him. Does that humiliate you? Catherine, promise me you are done with him. I won't promise. Olivia de Havilland and Ralph Richardson did not get along at all when they were making this movie. She thought he was very, very uh, stuffed shirt and very, very properly English. Yes, yes, indeed. Richardson was a consummate professional. He came over from the British theater. He hadn't done all that many movies. And Wyler said he was one of the most professional people he'd ever worked with. In fact, when they shot the first scene where he had to come in the house, Richardson showed him 14 ways for him to hang up his hat, coat, and cane. But of course, why not? Monty um, played this part to perfection. He, you never, he's so sincere that he's, it's hard to, to read whether or not he's being truthful with her throughout the movie. And that's a key thing with this movie. Is he really in love with her or is he taking her for her money? But it's hardly a career. No, it won't make my fortune. Ah, uh, you mustn't be too much bent on a fortune. As usual, Wyler directed somebody to an award and Olivia de Havilland won her second Oscar for this movie. And very deservedly, she was one of the few actresses who could make a genuinely good person interesting, as she had with Melanie and Gone with the Wind. Oh, some of the ladies on the committee are so foolish they're useless. They think it ill-bred to know anything about food or what is done in the kitchen. Such airs and grace. This is a love story. It's a great story about a certain period in New York history. And it's a tragic story, as most of Henry James's novels were. <laughs> Olivia de Havilland, Ralph Richardson, and Montgomery Clift in William Wyler's The Heiress. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Johnny! <laughs> Good! <laughs> Things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. 